football facility. So a lot of Clemson fans, football fans in general, making plans to travel cross country to Arizona for the national championship football game. It is one week from today. Big doings. Uh, and school is back in session this week, meaning missed classes in order to see the game in person. Yeah, well, fear not. 7 News reporter Christine Brown tells us how the university is actually helping get students to the game. All season, Tigers fans have been a strong orange presence at every football game. There's like one little section of the other team, and then the rest surrounding it was Clemson. So once the team solidified their move on to the national championship game in Arizona, Clemson University students and faculty jumped at the chance to get tickets. I think everybody is looking forward to the game, even if they're not really big football fans, and just being fans of Clemson in general. Is, it's incredible to be able to be recognized on a stage like that. But tickets aren't cheap, and class starts back Wednesday, so for many, the trip just isn't an option. Tigers that are there will be there for me. I'm there in spirit, and I'll definitely be watching on a TV screen cheering on my Tigers. But for those who can go, classes will likely go unattended Monday and Tuesday. It's almost been surreal. I still can't believe we're going to Arizona. Like <laughs> It's an adventure of a lifetime. So. so the university is doing what it can to fill the stadium up in orange and purple without hindering academic requirements. Clemson University leaders are asking teachers to be more flexible with the students who are traveling to be at the big game by either giving them unexcused absences or more out of class work. And our education is important, but you know, this type of stuff doesn't happen every day. And for us to support them, that's a good thing. And teachers are asked to give extra assignments to replace missed lectures so they can also cheer from the stands. Being able to go to the game or watch the game is important and keeps that uh, Clemson family together. In Clemson, Christine Brown, 7 News. All right, so, so what if you're going to miss your, your classwork? Maybe you're in high school or something right. like that. We, this we, doesn't happen all the time. No, it doesn't. It, it is a, a maybe once in a lifetime or at least once in a few decades experience. So we checked to see if school districts in the upstate are making exceptions for other students who will be absent for the game. And we're told that the normal absentee procedure will be followed, but parents are encouraged to let their principals know if they'll be out of class Monday. Now, as we bring in uh, Seven Sports Director Pete Yannity, one of the things with, with class back in at Clemson this week that we've been wondering is, will this affect the difference? in practice time that Clemson's team gets because, you know, w when they're in class, they don't get to practice. There's restrictions on how often they can practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that put them at a disadvantage when they're playing and, against and a team? And a lot of that conversation happened today. A story by one of the fine websites and a very good writer named Hale McGranahan circulated on uh, on the web uh, on, on his site about uh, the fact that Alabama's not back in. So when you're not in session, you don't have to go by the NCAA rules that say teams can only practice 20 hours a week. And when Clemson's back in session, I guess beginning Wednesday, when classes mm -hmm. begin, they've got to abide by that. But think about this. And, and I visited with folks uh, who would know uh, the mechanisms of uh, the football operation. They wouldn't have digressed from their plan anyway. If, if someone called Dabo Sweeney and said you can practice for 100 hours this week, a football is a very routine, as much of a routine sport as there is. Hmm. And so here they are at 14-0. and 0, They got here by following a certain schedule, certain number of practice times and so forth. And in fact, really over the years, the trend has been to practice less because after about two hours, you lose guys' attention. Yeah. And probably focus. a little tired at so, this point. And, and I, I'd be stunned, and I don't know this for a fact, I'd be stunned if Nick Saban digresses much from his plan. And he'll probably confine you and, and conform to the hours they've been using. You wouldn't want to watch more film or something like that? Well, though, the coaches can do that, of course. And in terms of watching film classroom with the team, I think because, again, you have a routine, your players are locked in. Again, football very routine oriented from the players all the way up to the coaching staff. They'll get done what they need to get done in this era of having tablets and all that. The guys on their own can, can do that. But certainly kind of thing not too. routine for Clemson to make it this far. Not, so not at this time, be them. practicing deep into January. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they wouldn't want to make any excuses anyway, I don't think. So they'll, no. they'll have it 